Hi everyone, it's Miss Liz from the Heightstown branch. Welcome to my um, kids playroom, the basement, uh, our craft area. <laughs> uh, here is where I made my latest craft that I want to show you. Uh, following with the tradition of rainbows that I think was started in Italy. And uh, this one I made using colored pasta. All right, so this one is good for younger kids, might need some help with it, and older kids definitely. If you don't want to use pasta, you can use beads, you can use um, streamers, uh, tissue paper, different strips of construction paper, whatever you have. Uh, the coloring of the pasta takes the longest time, so depending on how you are set up at home and what supplies you have, you can decide how you want to do that accordingly. And then I added some fluff on my cloud, of course, to give it some texture and, of course, a nice message of hope. So let me show you what we need for this craft, and then we'll show you the steps. So what inspired this craft really was the Easter egg dyeing kits that are on crazy sale right now at the grocery stores. Very, very inexpensive. Um, so if you happen to be going to the grocery store and they're there, you can pick it up and do this activity or anything else that you can think, can think of with it. Um, of course, don't make an extra trip to the store just for this. Uh, you can color the uh, pasta with food coloring if you don't want to use the um, egg dyeing kits. Or like I said before, if you don't want to use pasta at all, you can use a variety of other materials as your colors to hang down. So once you've decided on how you're going to color your pasta, if you're going to color your pasta, you have your coloring materials. Of course, you have your pasta itself. The best kinds of pasta are the straight, long, thin, tubular ones. So rigatoni is great, that's what I used, or uh, penne, something like that, to be able to thread through your string. Now, of course, you'll need some string. I used yarn, I liked the blue yarn. It kind of looked like blue raindrops coming from the clouds. If you don't have that, you can use fishing wire, any other kind of string. Again, if you're not using pasta or beads, you don't need yarn at all. <laughs> um, of course, you'll need some kind of paper for your cloud to draw that on. I used cardstock for mine. Um, the pasta is quite heavy, so you might want to use something like cardstock or even cardboard, and you can either paint it white or glue on regular paper. I don't think regular paper itself would cut it to hold up the pasta. All right, so you'll need those things. If you wanna add some fluff, some texture on it, you're gonna need some cotton balls, uh, tissue paper, tissues if you wanna rip it up, things like that. You'll need uh, markers to decorate your cloud, scissors to cut out your cloud and to cut your string. And uh, I use tape for to hold up my um, pasta on the string. Um, initially, I used scotch tape just to hold it in place, and then I went over it again with masking tape for older kids, or if an adult is helping, you can always do hot glue as well. Okay, so I know that's a long list of things. If you want to pause the video as you go, feel free to do so, and uh, follow along with me as we do the steps, and in no time, you'll have your own wonderful cloud of hope. Okay, so once you have your egg dyeing kit set uh, to the instructions, then you're going to go ahead and open your pasta and put it in. You probably need maybe, depending on the size of your pasta, just a few pieces per color, because what we're going to make in the end is a large cloud with strings of pasta hanging down in different colors. So I'm gonna do about five her color. We've got small rigatoni. All right, so you're going to put them in and let them sit. For, this says on my box of coloring for five minutes. I mean, I like doing the pasta by myself. All right, I'm going to let my helper do the pasta here by him, himself. Great, thank you. you want, let's do some in the green. Okay. That's enough. No, let's keep going. We want to have five. We only have three. So once you have, have five in here, okay. I only have two. All right, keep going with the, enough in there. So once you have them I all have. in your cup of the uh, corresponding colors, you're going to let them sit. 
for a bit and soak up that color, then you're gonna take them out and let them dry and we'll see you back again for that next step in just a minute. Okay, and once your pasta has sat for enough time to be fully colored, you're going to wanna take it out, preferably with something like a slotted spoon so any extra water and coloring can drip. And you're gonna to wanna to lay it down on something that you're okay with getting the coloring on like paper towels. And you're going to wanna to let it um, be in one layer, not on top of each other, to let it fully dry. This definitely takes longer because it depends on how long it's gonna take for everything to dry. And you have to do it with every color of the rainbow. So you wanna flatten everything out let it dry for each color. Oh, that one was stubborn there. And once it's dry, then we can start the final piece of our project. So I'll see you back here in a few minutes once everything's dry. Okay, so once your macaroni or pasta is nice and dry, you want to make your cloud. So I'm using uh, cardstock, so it's a little bit of a heavier, thicker paper. Uh, because there will be some weight to the pasta and the yarn. If you have cardboard, that'll be good. If you have regular paper, that'll be okay too. You might just want to use a few less pieces of pasta. And when you're making your cloud, you want to keep in mind uh, the size of the pasta you have, how long you want to make your yarn, how big that's all going to be. So I made my cloud quite large because I want to have at least a couple pieces of pasta per string. So I wanted to be able to fit them all at the bottom. So I traced it in pencil first, and then I'm gonna go over it with Sharpie to be able to see it better. So you don't necessarily have to use Sharpie, of course. Whatever um, black marker or black crayon you have. And here I'm kind of overlapping just to give some of the detail to the cloud itself. If you have cotton balls or some other kind of fluff, it might be fun to glue that on as well to give some texture. You can write something on there. I know a lot of the popular sayings with the um, rainbow art has been um, everything will be okay in English or tutto andrà bene in Italian where I think a lot of this trend started from Italy which basically means everything will be okay or todo estará bien in Spanish um, hope if you want to write that whatever you want to write you can write on that as well I'm gonna hold off on writing just because I want to place everything first so I'm going to cut my cloud out and then I'm going to measure my yarn and string my pasta to get an idea of how that's all going to fit before I finally assemble everything. So we'll just go ahead and cut here and I will see you back in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, I've worked through most of the order of the rainbow already. Our red, which is a little bit more pink, orange, yellow, and green. And last in my kit was blue. So I'll show you how I've been putting them together. Unfortunately, my pasta is still a little soft and squishy, so I've been doing it a little slowly. I've let these dry for a couple hours um, after dyeing them before actually doing the project. So maybe it's just my egg dyeing kit or my pasta, or maybe that's how it's gonna be, or I should have let them dry a little bit longer. So what I did after I made my cloud was I decided how long I wanted my yarn to be and how many pasta pieces I wanted. I kind of laid out the pasta pieces and decided how much I wanted. Then I cut the yarn. And right now I'm holding them on the back with scotch tape, which is just kind of helping hold them in place. Um, eventually I want to use some masking tape or if you have an adult or if you're old enough and your parent lets you, you can do hot glue. Um, it's definitely best for our younger kids with adult supervision because hot glue is very hot. Um, but it will stick a lot better. Hot glue and masking tape stick a lot better than this scotch tape. So uh, what I do here is I'm going to thread my macaroni, my pasta, through 
the yarn, or sorry, thread the yarn through the pasta here, hello, and get it all lined up. It's a little tricky because it does get stuck and you do get some curved pasta pieces even though I tried for the straightest pasta I had which happened to be I think rigatini so something like rigatini rigatoni penne work better than something a little bit more curly like your uh, traditional elbow macaroni because trying to get the uh, yarn or whatever kind of string you're using through that oh boy and you don't have to use yarn you can use um, you know fishing wire or whatever kind of string you have at home be creative I thought the blue yarn kind of looked like raindrops so I like that so I'm going to tape that here with my scotch tape to hold it in place. And then I'm going to tie my yarn lengthwise around my last piece of macaroni. The idea then is that I'm going to tuck that whole part in the back behind the macaroni itself. So when this is hanging up, you can't see it because I don't want to have that you know, showing as part of the project. And then when this is completely finished, I can snip off the extra bits of the thread. But for now, I just want to flip it over and make sure it's looking good. And I'll do some finishing touches in just a moment. So I've got all my colors here. And now I'm just going to get my materials here. I think I will get a little bit of fluff to add on my cloud and decide exactly what I want to write on here. I've got a big enough space to write something. So I'm going to start with my pencil and then go over it with my black marker. Okay, so you can see I decided to go with hope as my message on my cloud. And I'm just kind of shading it in a little bit here since I already did the rainbow colors. But, you know, you can do any kind of message you want. And then I figure my last bit will be I've got some fluff from um, some sewing projects but if you've got cotton balls tissue paper um, tissues even um, or if you just want to leave a plain you can I'm gonna use some white glue hopefully I've got enough here Ooh. and I'm just gonna kind of give it some nice texture at the end and put some glue on and some fluff to have some nice fluffy clouds and then you can decide if you want to put a string on the back to hang it up. Um, it is kind of heavy, especially if you use the macaroni. <laughs> um, so you might not want to do that. You might want to hang it with the magnet on your fridge or a uh, push pin on a bulletin board or cork board in your room. But however you decide to hang it, then it will look great. All right, what I like about this project is it gives you a general idea, but you can make it your own in many different ways. So here's my final project. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed making this project with me. I know it had a lot of steps, and I hope that it makes you smile anytime you look at it. And I hope you're doing well with your families, and keep creating. We'll see you soon.